So Toronto Police Service under fire. Well, so is the Ontario uh, government. So is the federal government over the disappearance of Jiding Kong. This is the 47-year-old guy who walked out of a Toronto mental health institution. 47-year-old man. He butchered his roommate with a meat cleaver, what, uh, five years ago? And he's able to walk out on a day pass and just leave, get on a plane to China. And then when police are actually confronted with questions about this, well, Toronto Police Chief Mark Saunders not too happy to actually be facing tough questions on this. You've said that I do not understand not criminally responsible. I'm sorry, but more than 20 years of covering courts, I fully understand it. And you are insulting not only me, but every single member of the public that is actually upset that someone was able to walk out on a day pass, someone that had butchered their roommate with a meat cleaver, was able to walk out on a day pass, get on a plane, and leave this country. And you're just saying, well, there's learned people involved and you should get a better understanding? I'm sorry. There are people that are outraged at this, they deserve to be outraged at this, and they deserve to be outraged at your department over your handling of this and the fact that for two weeks, you and your department who had arrested this man for this heinous crime did not alert the public. Why did you not alert the public? And, and as I said, we will definitely get to the bottom of that. I'm, I'm sorry. If no, you no, the... no. You deserved, you, you owe the public a better answer than we'll get to the bottom of this. And, and we will through an investigation, which is important. And as the Solicitor General said, emotions are high with this particular investigation. And I can understand that. We have to work within law, and that's where it gets complex when you have emotion and you have law. And you definitely identify and resonate with a lot of members of the public who are outraged. At and I and understand I, the law, sir. I, I did not say you didn't understand the law. No, you I'm told me I should get a better understanding of it. No, I said that if we get a better understanding of what it takes to be defined as not criminally responsible and the complexities of it. so. But having said that, as you stated, there are a lot of people that are very emotionally upset by this, and I understand that. I do understand that, but what we have to do is work within law. And right now in Canada, NCR is something that is live. It is a decision that is made almost on a daily basis, and these things do happen. When it comes to what we have to do, I do take that seriously, and I want to make sure that we get it right. I've identified that there definitely were some gaps. I want to find out what those gaps are, and I'll remedy those gaps to the best of our ability. Do you feel... Uh, Toronto Police Service, not the only organization that deserves, that owes the public answers. We've got to hear from the mental health uh, operation, CAMH, that let this guy go. We've got to hear from ministries in the Ontario government. We've got to hear from the, the, the folks in the federal government that allowed his passport to go unchecked and get on a plane, we are told, to China. There are so many people that dropped the ball on this, and now we've got a meat cleaver murderer walking the streets. And what's a lot, a lot of the media upset about? The fact that Doug Ford called a meat cleaver murderer crazy? A nutcase? Well, I think that I speak for most Canadians in saying that that does not diminish mental health. That's actually accurate. If you are going to chop up your roommate with a meat cleaver, you're probably crazy. You're not someone that needs Bell Let's Talk and needs to reach out for a little bit of help. They are two very different things. There are so many problems with this case, and so far, no organization in government, at the provincial level, at the federal level, at the hospital level, nobody wants to take responsibility. But at some point, the public's answers, the public's questions will be answered. We will find out what happened, and somebody needs to be held responsible.